Hi, boys and girls. Today we are reading Lesson 3 from Chapter 1, Then and Now, Totem Poles of the Pacific Northwest. And here we see a traditional totem pole. And over on the other page, it says a totem pole designed in a more modern art style. All right, let's take a look at what the text has to say. Then. Historians can only speculate when the first totem poles were erected. Europeans recorded seeing them in the 1700s when they first landed on the coast of the Pacific Northwest. Though immediately impressive in their size and detail, totem poles can be fully understood only with a deep knowledge of the culture that built them. The order of a pole's totems tell a story. The only way to read the pole is to first know the story. Each generation of Pacific Northwest people passed down the stories expressed in the totem poles to the younger generation. Let's take a look at the next page. Now, at the start of the 20th century, very few American Indians still practiced the art of totem pole making. In about 1950, however, more Indians began to learn the traditional methods of carving and painting the poles. Totem poles today can be found in their traditional place in front of houses of gathering and celebration for Indian communities. Modern totem pole carvers tend to combine many different styles and methods of carving on the same pole. I don't know about you guys, but these poles are impressive and I'd love to learn more about the stories behind them. All right, right now though, go back and reread the section if you need to or rewatch the video and we'll see you soon.